Good afternoon, grade nine. How are you doing? Hope you are fine and staying safe at home. Uh, today we're going to answer some uh, cumulative revision for algebra two and geometry. Uh, question number one: Solve the, the following. Y varies directly as x, and y is equal to eighteen when x is equal to six. A what is the constant variation? What is the constant of variation? Write a direct function. Okay, let me just. Uh, this. Okay. What is the constant of variation? I want to know k. It is written here that y varies directly as x. So I want to write here y is equal to kx. Okay, so y is equal to 18 and x is equal to 6. So I'm going to write k6. So k, if I divide both sides by 6, so k is equal to 18 over 6, so k is equal to 3. So k is equal to 3. Okay, again, y is equal to kx. k is the constant of variation. So when y is 18, x is equal to 6. So uh, I want to know the value of k, so I will divide both sides by 6. So k is equal to 18 over 6, so k is equal to 3. So if I want to write the direct variation function, I will write it like this. y, y is equal to 3x. I will not write uh, the values of y and x, I will write only y is equal to 3 x, I will replace the value of k and I will write instead of it its value which is 3. Okay, b. y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 0 0.5 when x is equal to 3. Varies inversely. How, how I will write this? y is equal to k over x y is equal to k over x when k is 0 0.5 uh, sorry when y is equal to 0 0.5 i want to get the value of k so i write k over 3 so k is equal to 3 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is equal to 1.5. 3 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is equal to 1.5. So if I want to write the direct variation here, I will write it like this. y is equal to k. What is the value of k? The value of k is 1.5 over x. Here I can write the direct variation function. y is equal to 1.5 over x. Let me color it in red so you can know that this is the answer. Here it is also. Okay, question number two. Simplify, identify any x values for which the, the expression is undefined. Okay, here uh, I have in the numerator 5x and I have in the denominator x cubed. So I will cancel from the numerator x here and it will be, it will take 
x down when i divide the exponents i will subtract so i take x from up so i then it will be x squared down it will be x squared so if i will write it here x squared so what will be the final answer here the final answer will be five over x squared I divide the exponent of x in the numerator with the exponent of x in the denominator. So x will go up. I divided x up with x down. So x up will be cancelled and x squared will be that. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to simplify it more i can write it in another way so you can get it easily x cubed is x multiplied by x multiplied by x and up i have one x so x from the numerator will cancel x from the denominator so two x's will be left in the denominator two x's mean x squared so it will be five over x squared Okay, here. What do I have here? I have 4x plus 12 over 6x plus 18. So what about uh, taking a common factor here? Yes, I can take a common factor here, 4. So I will take common factor 4. So I will divide 4x by 4 and I will divide 12 by 4. 4x divide by 4, it will be x plus... 12 divided by 4, it will be 3. In the denominator, I have 6x plus 18. What about taking 6 as a common factor? So I will take 6, 6, and I have 6x divided by 6, it will be x plus 18. 6, 18 divided by 6 is Three. So I have x plus 3 in the numerator and I have x plus 3 in the denominator. So they will cancel each other up and down. 4 uh, over 6, I can simplify it, divide by 2 up and divide by 2 down. So the answer will be here 2 over 3. What about this one? This one, I have to factor the numerator and cancel it with the denominator and I will get a term. This term, it will be equal to 7. Let's do it together. squared plus 3x minus 10. I want to choose two numbers that when I divide by, uh, when I multiply by themselves, they will give me 10 and when I subtract they will be 3. 10 it will be 1 and 10 it will be 5 and 2. Yes, I will take 5 and 2 and I will give the greatest uh, sign, I will, the greatest number, I will give it 3, I will give it plus because I have here plus positive next to the 3. So I will say x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 2. Positive 5 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 10. Positive 5 minus 2 is 
three. And down I have already x minus two. So now I can cross here x minus two and x minus two. What is left for me here? Left for me here, let me write here, all is equal to seven. So left for me here what? x plus five is equal to seven. So I can write it here. x plus five is equal to seven. If I subtracted five from both sides, uh, so x is equal to seven minus five, which is equal to two. So the values for which the expression is uh, is undefined here, so x is equal to two. Here I'm going to do also the same. I want two numbers when I subtract, when I multiply them, they will give me 18. And when I uh, subtract them or add them, they will give me three. So I will choose six multiplied by three is equal to 18. And I will give the negative sign to six, the greater number. So x minus six multiplied by x plus three. And down already, I have x plus 3. All is equal to 13. Here I forgot to write plus 3. So this third one, we cancel this one. So now I have what? Now I have x minus six. X minus six is equal to 13. If I will add six on both sides, I will get x is equal to 13 plus six, which is equal to 19. Okay, girls, here we forgot to do a step that I told you all the time. It is so important. Please don't forget this step. Don't forget this step. And I forgot it this time. Okay. Uh, identify any x values for which the expression is undefined here. What is the value of x to make this expression is undefined? x is equal to zero. If I replace x by zero, the expression here will be undefined. So I'm going to write, I'm going to say here, no, expression uh, is undefined when x is equal to zero. Okay, and here. Okay, 6x plus 12. So, uh, here, if I will write, 6x plus 18 is equal to zero. So, 6x is equal to negative 18 because if I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides so then I'm going to uh, divide both sides by uh, 6 
So x is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to write the same here. I'm going to say the expression is undefined when x is equal to negative 3. Okay, girls. Okay, add or subtract, identify any x values for which the expression is undefined. Okay. I have here same denominators. So it's easy for me to solve it. Uh, I have here same denominators. So it will be x plus 1 when I'm adding. I keep the denominator as it is and I add the numerators x plus 2x it is equal to 3x so easy this one but what about the value that will make the expression is undefined x plus 1 is equal to 0 let me write it here x 1 is equal to 0 is equal to negative 1 the expression is undefined when x is equal to negative 1. What about this one? Oh, I'm lucky also I have here the same denominator so what I'm going to do I will keep the denominator as it is and I will subtract the numerators 2x minus 5 don't forget to distribute the negative sign here so it will be negative 5x plus 2 So uh, we're going to collect the like terms together. So I have here 3x minus 5x. So 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. Minus 1 or negative 1 plus 2, it will be positive. One. Okay, so I want to write the expression, the value of x that will make the expression is undefined. So I will write here uh, two x minus five is equal to zero. So uh, two x is equal to five. So x is equal to five over two. So I'm going to write the expression is undefined when x is equal to 5 over 2. See, we're also lucky here. We have x minus 4 in the denominator. So we're going to keep the denominator as it is and add the numerators. So here we have it. Uh, it was posed the screen sharing. Now it's OK. OK. I will write here x minus 4 and I will collect the like terms together 4x and 2x here 6x and here I have 1 and 7 so it will be 8 okay so expression that will make it uh, uh, undefined x minus 4 so x is equal to 4 that will make the expression is undefined this one is a little bit different because I don't have the denominators 
equals, so I have to factor x squared minus one. When I factor x squared minus one, I will get x minus one and x plus one. So now I get also here x plus one. I have x plus one here and I have x plus one here. What is missing in the second term? What missing in the second term x minus one. So I will multiply the second term all this one by x minus one up and down. x minus one. and x minus 1. So, uh, now I have in the denominators, they are equal x plus 1, x minus 1, x plus 1, x minus 1. So, now I have here 2x minus 1, uh, or 2 multiplied by x minus 1. So, let me write the new terms here. It is, uh, I will write it in another color. X minus two. two X, sorry, minus two, because two X minus two. This is the new term. So this term is now canceled. I don't have this one. Okay, so the new, Problem is x over x minus 1, x plus 1, minus 2x minus 2 over x plus 1, x minus 1. Now I can write my final answer here. x plus 1, x minus 1, over x minus 2x, when I'm going to collect the like terms together, x minus 2x, it is minus x, then I have minus, minus 2, so it will be positive 2. Now I have two terms, uh, so two values for x, so let me make the expression undefined, so x is equal to Negative, negative 1 and x is equal to 1. Okay, thank you girls so much and we're going to continue tomorrow and uh, I hope tomorrow you're going to attend. Thank you so much.